On social media and foreign policy, this is quite a delicate question because the point of social media is that it is informal and therefore it's a way in which you can engage and connect and uh, which is not constrained by the usual forms of uh, foreign policy etiquette and diplomacy. So I had dinner with uh, Mr. Modi in uh, Komala Villas. So at the end, he produced a, uh, a handphone. He said, how about a selfie? <laughs> I said, yeah, we can do that. I'll have a handphone too. I'll have one too. And he posted faster than me. <laughs> but there was a point because because of that selfie, a lot of people took an interest and knew that Mr. Modi was here and knew that there was this meeting, we had this meeting taking place, and took an interest. I think without that selfie, a lot of Singaporeans would not have paid attention to the reports, a long explanation of what is in our joint statement and our partner strategic partnership and all the other things which we do, which are important but not as accessible to a significant proportion of the population. Let me just do a test. I will find it only to the students so as not to embarrass the others. <laughs> but ask the students, how many of you are on Facebook? Hands up. What? Okay, I suppose there are a few who are not. Hands down. How many of you read The Straits Times every day? There you are. How many of you watch the news every night, 9 o'clock? That's why I'm on Facebook. <laughs>